Danny generally takes time for people, uh, listens. I think he is one of those that doesn't see the paycheck or hourly wage as the starting and ending of a job, but he's uh, more than willing to do whatever he's asked to do, whether it's drive to somewhere and pick up parts, whether it's to get up on a ladder and change light bulbs, whatever it needs to be done, and, and, and I think that's a great example for all our kids and other employees. In among juggling all of the hats he wears here at Carlisle County School District, uh, he make sure and, and uh, allows plenty of time to spend with his family and keeping in touch with his family and keeping his family relationships going. And he's a wealth, he's an encyclopedia of information. A lot of people can talk leadership and say the right things, but to do the right things day in, day out, uh, I think is much more critical and speaks louder. And that's where I see Danny is on a daily basis. He's just kind of a go-to guy. I mean, I see him at school and out of school in the community. He's always just wanting to be with Carlisle kids, no matter where we are. I saw him just one day this week, covered in sweat. He had grass all over his sunglasses where he'd been weed eating. And I said, why do you keep doing this? He said, I'm the luckiest man alive. Every day I get to get up and do what I enjoy. I'm with people I love and I'm with kids that I love. I love being around all the kids. That smile that those kids see every morning when they get on the bus, he's telling them, let's seize the day, let's go. And he doesn't see why we think he's so special. He's just doing all he knows to do. He exemplifies what Comet Pride is throughout this community. Uh, he uh, taught our religion class when I was in middle school. He actually introduced me to racquetball and golf and uh, some other sports uh, that uh, a typical kid from Carlisle doesn't get to play. Uh, he would take us up to the Paducah Sports Club, play racquetball. He took us to golf course in Mayfield where he was a member and, and took us on the, we'd sneak on the back uh, nine of the golf course and, and get a few holes in and, and we played tennis as well. Uh, so I got to know Danny at a, a young age. Well, I, I know he's out here a lot more hours than what he's paid for and uh, he's never worried about that. Uh, you know, he's, he's told me on many occasions, you know, even if I have to stay later, I'll do it. He enjoys being out here at the school. Say take for instance today where it's been raining, you know, if we had a home game, he would be down on the field and putting in extra hours trying to make sure the field is ready and that's just the things that he does. Well, I started riding his bus in eighth grade, when I was in eighth grade and my older sister, she started riding with me and well, he's pretty cool, I like him. Hey, I like him a lot, more than the bus drivers that I had before. Well, he's always got a smile on his face and he, he'll always make a joke about the stuff that you can't really make a joke out of. He'll make it like a bad circumstances, making good. A lot of people says driving the school bus is a hard job and they wouldn't want to do it. The kids on the bus, they're like my kids. They become my kids. And I love every one of them kids on that bus. They're very special people. So I think people are put in situations where we're supposed to be. This is where I'm supposed to be to be right here at Carlisle County doing what I'm doing. Uh, so I believe that we each can make a difference. I don't see that I'm any better than anybody else. I just do what needs to be done. Sometimes that's right, sometimes that's wrong, but we just keep moving ahead, going ahead. We can save the world. We can change the world. One little step at a time.